What is life like as a wave rock? Well, to me, you know, it's, it's normal. I mean, I've been a wee for about as long as I can remember. And it's not a lifestyle for the faint-hearted. And it's very uh, solitary. Hello, my name's Charlie, and I'm a weevil. Yeah, growing up as a weevil was tough. You think how many times you've been outside and seen a group of weevils walking about. Never. Um, for one, there's the name calling. Peen Snows, Cockface, Dick Snout, and those are some of the nice ones, let me tell you. Um, I vividly remember one day when I was a tiny little weevil um, on my way back from school to our house a bombardier beetle kidnapped me and vigorously wiped my face yes uh, sure I had a close childhood friend he, he didn't talk much he wasn't much of a talker like me but we had lots of fun nevertheless we would always play this fun game called uh, insect tag uh, it's exactly the same principles as normal tag, just for insects really. Uh, his name was Andy the Ant, and at the time I thought nothing of it, but thinking back I'm about 99% sure he was trying to eat me. Yeah, no, he was definitely trying to eat me. I think I speak for the majority of weevils when I say we are not vicious creatures. We are extremely passive, to the point where we actually see it as impolite if we survive after an intense chase with a hostile predator. I've actually seen hundreds of my kind die before my very eyes. Grandfather, grandmother, mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, uncle. I've actually had love in my life on 15 separate occasions. Males and females, you know, you, you, you can't be picky with such a short life expectancy and each one of my lovers were tragically murdered by ants. Yeah, I know, it seems sad, but that's just life, I suppose, and I, I try not to let it get me, me down. Uh, to keep spirits high, I, I try to keep my mind occupied. I'll often go down to the water, relax, and just watch the world go by. Uh, another activity I've taken up is trampolining. I'm not very good at it, but I'm persistent and dream that one day I will be able to achieve three successive bounces before falling off. I don't think I live a sub story and I don't want everyone's sympathy. You know, this is a card I was dealt and in my mind I'm living it to the fullest. This lovely little shack here was the uh, shag pad, also known as me ass. <laughs> uh, some people say to me that it's, it's just a blade of grass leant up against a rock and to those people I say okay you know I just, I just say okay look how I see it I've got everything I need a roof over my bed and a place to rest my little weevil head well yes indeed there has been a uh, drug recently that has ravaged these lands I'm actually one of the last remaining natural weevils most have become depressed with the way of life and the constant fight for survival that they have turned to drugs and horrendous living conditions. Here you go, as you can see over there, a cloud of what we like to call the spice. Uh, it's a shame really because it used to be a very nice neighbourhood and this was one of my favourite spots to visit. No, I've never been tempted to turn to the dark side. I mean, I can see why some have succumbed to it, because they feel safe living in a toxic environment where there are no predators, but at what cost? They lose their minds and become zombies, more or less. Although they may look like weevils, they aren't. They are extremely hostile, so much that they'd even kill themselves to harm someone. It's just one of the many things wrong with this life. What does the future hold for me, a humble weevil like myself? Uh, honestly, I'm not too sure, but after a lot of thought, I've decided to pack my bags and travel. There's a big open world out there to explore, and I want to try and find my inner weevil. Um, I'm not planning on returning, so this is me 
the last you'll ever say to me. I keep on looking and moving forward. And when I find what I'm looking for, I'll set up a little ass and live out the rest of my life a happy weevil. <laughs>